What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Yeah. Today, I'm answering the question, should I get regular fat grips or fat grips extremes? And it's all going to come down to what your goals are. And I've got some notes here. So what kind of training are you going to be doing? Are you looking to bring up your grip strength while you're doing your full body lifts? like curls, deadlifts, rows, and things like that, then in that case, I would just go with the regular fat grips. These are more than big enough for most people. Two and a quarter diameter for the blues, two and three quarter for the oranges. And the blues are big enough, perfectly fine, if you're just gonna be modifying regular training. If you are a grip athlete and you're looking to build your grip specifically for some kind of a grip lift or a grip feet, then you should choose the one that more closely matches the implement that you're trying to replicate. So if it's a rolling handle, most of those are two and three eighths to two and a half inches. So if you put a blue flat, flat a blue fat grips on a D ring, like uh, not a D ring, but a D handle, uh, one of the handles that would be on like a cable crossover machine and do your pulls with that, then this is gonna match that size very well. The fat grips extremes is gonna be way too big. There's really no use for fat grips extremes on a regular type of body training exercise. And the reason I say that is because the bigger the handle that you're using, the less weight that you're gonna be able to use. And yeah, you're gonna trigger a stimulus for grip strength improvement, but since the amount of weight that you're gonna be doing is gonna be so much lower than what you're normally doing, you're not gonna build the same strength for your body. So you don't wanna to sacrifice too much body strength just for grip strength. So stick with the blues in that case. Hand size. If your hands are real small, and small is generally defined as something like 7.5 or seven, uh, it, mainly 7.5 and lower, then you're probably gonna want the fat grips blues because the oranges are gonna be too big for you. If your hands are on the bigger size and you're doing regular body training, just modified for grip intensity, then the oranges might work for you. Remember, the larger the implement, the lower the weights you're going to be able to use. And while you'll be stimulating grip strength, your body strength is not going to get stimulated as well. Now, let's say uh, you have a history of injury. So let's say you've jacked your thumb up before then you probably want to use the blues because the wider the grip, the more strain it can put on the joint of the thumb, and that's not good. So you don't wanna be continually aggravating that injury. However, let's say you, you're doing, uh, you're putting the fat grips on the bar for presses or bench press. Then there is a case to be made that since the implement is larger, the force is gonna be spread out over more of the hand, and that may be a bit better for you to have the larger fat grips. The last thing I wanna say here is grip strength is very angle specific. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of joints in your fingers. You're gonna strengthen, strengthen your fingers specifically to the joint angle that you're training on. So if you are training the two and three quarter inch, you're gonna get stronger in that range. If you're training the two and a quarter inch, you're gonna get stronger in that range. But there isn't a lot of variation away from the range that you're training. So you're gonna get better at two and a quarter when you use the two and a quarter. You're gonna get better at two and three quarters when you use the two and three quarters. But the, the thing that I see very often online is a misconception that if you train really thick, then you're gonna get better at everything that's thinner, and that is not the case. Your grip strength is angle specific. So if you are merely looking to bring up your grip strength because you're having trouble locking out deadlifts, you don't need either of these. Both of these are way too big to get a specific training effect for your deadlift. You need to do deadlift drills. You need to improve your grip on the barbell itself. And, and really, that's, that's what it comes down to. Um, it's really about goal-specific training. So that's all I'm going to cover right now. But I will say that 
If you have a question about how to get the most out of using fat grips, put it in the comment section. I will answer it directly. And if I get a bunch with the same question uh, or with the same goal, I'll just make another video. So leave those in the comment section below. And I'm also interested to hear what fat grips you have, what you've used them for in your training and how they've helped you. So leave that in the comment section too. While you're at it, give the video one of these, be sure to subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. All the best in your training. Take care.